Hello and welcome, it's Mr. Fantastic here and we're doing a Flintstone themed outfit today using Grot and Dirt. Um, this is a previous project I've done, completely irrelevant but, you know, bedrock theme so... And the style in the carving there is the same, you know, with those horizontal lines, is the same as what I've used um, for the buildings in here. But the box we've used is a little um, sandwich container from Watt in the UK, 199, six and a half inches by six and a half inches by three inches, perfect little height size box you know for a nice little cheap start uh, out world little wire goes is uh, 20 millimeters I got off eBay um, 50 of them for two pound 16 millimeter hole bit then you know to um, keep a little lip to sort of sit them on top of and use the same drill bit to drill the hole on the other side of the out world and just use the glue gun then on top and it's kind of getting you the glue guns glue gun because of the lip you know so it keeps it sort of nice and safe and it creates a, um, if you put them on the inside of that using the same container, it creates a little barrier the PTFE. The test tubes I use are um, 14 millimeters by 16 millimeters with a 14 millimeter by 12 millimeter tubing so that they slot inside each other. Then and I just um, glue gun those test tubes inside after cutting them in half and using some cotton wool and some cling film, then and twisted them in a funny way. So that, that way they, can, they create nice little plugs and once the grout is dry you can pull the plug out to start excavating the hole then so the, for the tunnel, you know, for the nest and for the water. This is the um, deck all we're using, the um, buildings and the, the rocks are all sculpted out of grout. You just need to mess around with how dry it is for the amount of detail you want and the plants are just there. A reptile plant, I just plucked one off of many, you know, it's got quite a lot of these on them. I use them in a lot of my tanks and stuff I do. This is a small little rock that I was showing. Yes, um, the grout's pretty wet when I'm doing this, so the detail sort of gets um, finely sculpted in it once it's dried a little bit, but you can get a lot of the base shape and with it like this. And you can use a lot of different tools for this, like I'm using my knife, you can use screwdriver, use a dental toothpick, a metal one, you can sort of, everything creates different um, markings and that when you're doing this, so you, you should um, really play around with it, but you do an art grout, you can control the size and you know, you can go wild with whatever you want to do, you know, so, give you an answer, world that they can sort of dominate, like and look gigantic and and my component is Hercules, you know, we'll definitely do that in this. So yeah, as you can see, after it's dried a bit, I've added a little bit more detail. Just by going in those lines, and you know, this is so much you can do with it. And can, with the size, and you can control, like these, really, like, I've got it so simple to make. And you can just then um, colour them with dirt, believe it or not. But, um, the plants that I've used, there's one on the right on the table there, and I just cut them into sections and just using the lighter to mark the bottoms and press them flat against the side of the lighter there. Um, so that when you push it into the grout, it's got like a little footing so it won't pull out once you sort of press the grout in around it. For the dirt, I've just dug down in the garden a foot, you know, to make sure I've got past all the nasty stuff. And you know, I've also used hot water to sort of sterilize it with coconut husk. Let that dry out, and that's going to be the dirt I use, and the dirt I use for painting too, with it. And this is an example of the little plants that I use. That I use sort of. Yeah, I got some for the list and some to the side for other projects. There is Draco, my beauty dragon. With your grout, you know, follow the directions on the packet and make sure you thoroughly mix it and, and get the lumps out, and you know, get go for the consistency that you're sort of looking for. Mine's a little bit thicker, just because I'm sort of creating a mound at the back, so I wanted the, the ground to sort of sit nice and not run too much. If you start pouring from the middle and work your way out, you'll sort of do your best to avoid air bubbles, and you can see them on the side and work them free, sort of do the base, and then if you do the base and you bring it up underneath the test tubes a little bit better, you'll avoid air bubbles in and around there. For my um, large um, species advance, they won't be a problem with some smaller species. You, you know, you obviously want to make sure you take care of that. You know, you can tap it down a little bit, like drop it, dum dum. But just be careful how much you don't want to split anything. But that's a good way of getting air bubbles on. And with the decorations, if you just start with your large rocks and 
the large anything that you're using like that and work your way down in scale and what have you like leave the planting like as the last sort of group and then you can do the same with our large plants and work your way down and it just makes it a little bit easier and I'm just like I said using dirt you know just hot water with the dirt that I had there and just painting that on so that once it's dried a little bit I can pick, rub some of it off with a dry paintbrush and it sort of creates highlights and lowlights so it sort of stains it naturally like rocks so it, and it, it sort of fits then using the same dirt on the floor you know so here we go at the very end now we're adding our dirt to sort of seal it all off and this is the where it starts really taking shape As you can see, I've got little bits of plants that are sticking up like little green shoots as well. So yeah, you'll let that dry overnight then, you know, get all the excess dirt off, pull your cotton, wool and plugs out, and then you'll excavate all your ant tunnels, and then I've gone in and sculpted, you know, with those horizontal lines now to try and tidy it up. And make them look nice and then I carried on and I've done the road and joined onto the houses and then I've gone in and as you'll see I, I carve little rocks into the path but you have to really play around with how dry the grout is to get the detail that you want because if it's too wet it's not so good you know but it all depends on what you're sort of using as well well as what you're trying to do so you can see on the with the rock up on the side there, like the variations in colour from the dirt there, you know, and just messing around, going on and off and doing layers of dirt as well, not just the one pass. It'll give you a nice variation of colour on there too. And yeah, I just sort of get all the grout out later with a paintbrush once it's a little bit drier. You know, using tweezers as well, not to pull up all the dirt, but yeah, good bit of fun. Paint the path then with dirt and the sides of the um, road, or path, whatever. I've just done those horizontal rocks with just carried on dragging a little bit keep keeping them uneven so it just looks like a rock outcrop sort of creeping up on the sides you know and that works quite well but it's all like in the drying time with grout, with grout you need to just sort of play around find the best time for you and that but yeah at the end it's a nice little piece you know I normally I use three tubes but I've gone for two on this just because of the large tubes and the large um, nest that I've got for them when it's time to go in but it's a nice little effective one using a few materials, you know, grout, reptile plants and dirt. And then with some other ant stuff, you know, you'll probably have and you can obviously do this sort of thing in any size. If you go for larger ones with the grout ones, you might want to maybe sort of use something on the middle to sort of bulk it out. But, you know, you could have fun. And if you'd like to see more like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please like it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.